My Gaming Edge. Hello, MGE viewers. This is a guide to attacking middle of the demo man on Gully Wash, and I'm looking at the most recent pro version of the map as I go over the jumps, but <laughs> unfortunately all my examples are from earlier versions of the map, but in general the exact same techniques are going to be applicable on every version. Also, there's not too much to say about the jumps, so I've decided to get as many helpful examples as I could for you. Okay, now on to the jumps. Like any other map, you want to jump to the door first. As always, not too far out, so you can't get buffed by your medic. Now, since the distance between mid and spawn on this map is so short, you are presented with two choices right out of spawn. First route will take you through the upper part of the lobby and through yard to attack mid from the upper choke. So, for this rollout, start by placing a sticky somewhat high off the ground. Around the white mark on the wall is pretty good. Like always, this will let you do a mostly horizontal jump so you won't crash into the ceiling. You're going to want to land just about in the middle of the doorway on top of this line on the ground. For the next jump, place a sticky close to the edge of the platform and then jump off the platform. Wait to detonate until after you start falling in order to avoid the ceiling once again. For the final jump here, simply place a sticky in the doorway and set sail, though be conscious of fall damage. I usually start charging up my first sticky when I'm passing the ladder, just so you know. And since none of my examples actually show the rollout on this version of the map all the way through, let me demonstrate it really quick. And yeah, it should be a nice fluid set of jumps as you will see. You can grab this health pack and be up to nearly full health coming into the fight. Now this rollout is all about dealing early damage, and that's what I'm all about, so this is definitely my favorite route on this map. You have such a clear vision of lower, so you can call their scouts and their combo coming in and spam them all the while. Then if they try and run up to the elbow ramp, or if they even come in through yard, you have a perfect spam lane for rollers. Specifically though, you want to immediately shoot down to the enemy garage to try to chip away at any scout's health. Often they'll try and jump up on the wooden boards and attack you aggressively, so the early damage is meant to discourage that entirely. They may also try to jump on the awning on the opposite side of the point, but you can just as easily sticky them there. Next, I usually move out towards the point to gain better vision of the area, and if I see the combo coming, I keep the spam up. However, spam is usually not going to be enough to stop soldiers from bombing you so I usually start backing up into the choke again while that happens. Always have a scout coming up this way though, so he can clean up anything that rushes you. First example shows just how important early damage can be. I managed to hit both the scouts and both the soldiers right as they were getting into mid. Then, after a little more sticky spam, I even discouraged the medic from entering middle. Interestingly though, I did absolutely no damage after these initial seconds, and it was still enough to win middle. This example is just showing how powerful it can be to walk a demo straight across the point late in the fight when both teams have claimed one side of the point. The key is to use stickies while they're all bunched up, and a lot of the time whoever moves first during a stalemate such as this is going to win mid.
Okay, this next example I'm going to commentate a little bit. It's a longer mid-fight, so I thought I'd show you what's going through my mind when the fight's not resolved in like 10 seconds. So, coming into mid, I'm spamming down lower. I miss the scout just barely, but I see the combo there, so I'm going to spam continuously. Managed to get some pretty decent damage on both the soldiers and the medic, but they stayed in. So, right now, I'm thinking that they're probably going to be playing pretty far back to protect their medic, since I did hit him with some rollers as well afterwards. So we're going to start pushing the point, but that flanking scout kind of halted that push altogether. Um, we were distracted long enough that their medic got health, and they're looking to re-push this point. So we almost have Uber, so we just want to back it up. I'm going to trap this up so we can't get bombed, and hopefully we'll have Uber in time for our spawners to get here. Unfortunately, they're pushing it straight across. That pick luckily forced their Uber. We got forced too, but right now our spawners are getting right back into the fight. I'm going to pick the medic here, and right now we know that we can just back up because their spawners are also going to be coming in looking for our medic. Right on cue, here's Ducky, and he goes down, and we take the midpoint. The reality is you're not just going to be able to come in every mid and deal a lot of damage and then fight's over and you're the hero and you won the mid for your team. So I just thought I'd let you guys start thinking about that. But anyways, let's continue. Now going all the way back to spawn, the other route to mid is simply just jumping down to the lower entrance. After this jump you can walk to mid and you're, you're going to get there on time. <coughs> I usually start charging my first sticky when I walk past this ammo pack too. So, this route is actually the best counter to the last rollout I mentioned, since you can get a straight shot to the upper choke and discourage the enemy downman from peeking out too far. But other than that, your options are to either hang out down here and damage anyone up on the point, or to push up top right and try to seal off those doorways. You really should not be going through the elbow tunnel, since you'll lose valuable seconds of damage. Plus, you can just go through yard if you want to be up top left. If you choose to stay on the ground, you should probably be getting most of the heals while your soldiers bomb. But keep in mind that this puts your medic in a very vulnerable position. You'll want to play relatively far back so that you have good vision and you can make the height disadvantage less significant. All your damage should pretty much be with stickies just to guarantee that damage. In this example, we're basically rushing the right side with both their scouts and both their soldiers while I remain on the floor pocketing the medic. It gives the other team too many immediate threats to focus me down at all. So while they're distracted on the right side, I spam their demo, their scouts, and a soldier pretty hard, then come in after the damage is dealt to clean up anything retreating. In the next example, I deal some nice early damage on the demo and a scout from the floor, then I immediately follow up my soldier's bombing by securing the top right while the enemies retreat. As mentioned, you may opt to just rush top right immediately, which is by far the riskiest route you can take. If you consistently spam their demo back, then it may be worth it to try this rush. However, just a scout accompanying you will not be nearly enough. Tell at least one soldier to bomb in behind you, and you'll probably want your medic to follow up too. In this example, I'm able to trap out the demo completely for the first few seconds. The other team knows that if they let me stay up there, I can also trap up the elbow ramp, and that will prevent their medic from getting up to the point. So they immediately bomb a soldier onto me. At that point, I ignore the traps holding their demo in place, for the chance to pick off this soldier, and luckily I managed to pull that off. I think now would be a pretty good time to mention that on this map, more than any other, it's possible for a demo man to get the other team stuck in a sort of catch-22, meaning that either they commit really far in order to deal with me, only to be cleaned up by my team, 
or they concede one side, and then I get free reign to deal damage on them. The reason that happens is because the area is relatively small, has only two entrances, and only two ways up onto the point, which means it's easy to lock down a side, and it's hard to escape once you commit to a fight. That's basically what allowed us to win that last fight. This example is basically the same story. Once I managed to get up to the top right, they committed too many players to kill me, so they were picked apart by my teammates. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Peach.